Hi guys, welcome to Nithai God Rants. In this video, we are going to see how to make a kick drum. So, I am putting up uh, notes on C1. C1 means 65 hertz. So, let me put a 4x4 four four pattern here. Then, let's go to Serum. Nothing special in it. C in it preset. Let me go to Analog B Design. Then, a Sub, which is 30 hertz. Reduce the random, go to envelope 2, matrix section. Let me play this for you. Adjusting the envelopes. Now go global tune, master tuning. So here 12 semitones, okay. So the envelope 2 will modulate the master tune by 12, so 12 semitones. So adjusting the hold here. Then the decay so the hold okay so hold around so the the kick drum has two parts okay one is the clicky section and then the body the clicky is generally a high frequency section so in that section we need a you know a clicky part so this is the clicky part now i'm going to put envelopes for both of the oscillators one is the sub and one is the 65 hertz oscillator the c1 sub is working at c0 and uh, and log bd sign is working at c1 okay seems pretty tight so let's it is the master and then distortion not now okay let me reduce the random then the level yeah then I've selected one, s one waveform. Now let me do FM. Alt and drop. It copies the uh, LFO from one LFO to other. We want a very small FM. Okay, so let me reduce this. I have done 1 by 32 to make sure that we get a lot of space in the LFO section to carve it nicely. You can adjust nicely if you have a very small interval. Let me switch on the filter. For the first 30 milliseconds, we don't we don't want any low energy to be there. So high pass and then 30 hertz. We don't want any there anything to be there in the first 30 hertz. Okay. Initial. Oh. From 0 to 30 hertz, we don't want much to be there. So, let me remove that. We don't want to go all the way. So, you can reduce. Okay, so first 30 milliseconds is enough. Okay, so that seems to look good now. Oh, release okay that's always there at 30 hertz so it doesn't make much difference so testing with the sustain not much of a difference so basically first 30 milliseconds we don't want any low energy to be there i think this seems good let me put some uh, mexoscope here to see the waveform increase the time Decrease the time, increase the amp, and uh, here you go. So, this is a drum bus from Ableton. So, we want to tune the frequency to 65 here in the boom section. So, 65 is C1. Okay. So, Reducing the output gain and increasing the frequency to 65. Having a little distortion. Let's see how it works. Okay, not distortion now. Let me first add the click se clicky section. Okay, let me drop an envelope here. Let me change the size, the shape of the envelope. 
let me reduce the interval so that we can work very finely yeah this seems good nice click let me change the click it is very high bright white okay let's let's on nice kick there are nice attacks in there in that folder from serum okay let's try some distortion some envelope so i copy pasted the l5 to l6 l4 to l5 sorry okay let me try it's all trial and error this we have to see how it sounds let me change it to soft clip okay now let me fiddle with the envelope here and i think this is pretty much it nice kick drum Okay so that seems great it's amazing so i hope you had fun hari krishna